Welcome back to Greensboro, North Carolina. A little bit sunnier here in Greensboro, Bob, but better than yesterday. Well, anything was better than yesterday, including, uh, you know, like uh, being in the trunk of your car. It's about what it was yesterday. But the, relu the uh, relief troops are here. Just like 75 or 80 trucks in the parking lot last night with the buckets. They all got a good night's sleep, going to go out. I guess about 70% of Greensboro was in the dark uh, yesterday and last night. So ice storm and everything else uh, had a big impact outside. The storm Notre Dame presented in the Greensboro Coliseum had another effect, and that was to move on to the semifinals. You're right. And like you said, Notre Dame moving on to the semifinals, taking on NC State, who they just played last week, 184 to 60. What were we able to do last week that you saw that really would allowed us to get that big lead there in that game? Well, I thought the biggest thing we did is we ground them up in the first half. And we didn't have a huge lead in the first half, but we got it up to eight points at halftime. But what we had done is the pace of the game had been terrific. And they've got a couple of big girls, 6'5 and 6'2", but they're also big girls, big, strong, strapping girls. And getting up and down the floor wore them out a little bit. Second half, they were kind of out of gas. And uh, they had some other uh, role players who we matched up pretty well. I thought Jewel Lloyd did a great job defensively. We had good balance in our scoring again. But I think by the end of the game, and to win by 24 points on their floor against a team that was 13th in the country, that was a pretty good accomplishment. But I think the, the athleticism of this Notre Dame team, and when you think about today, they're playing their second game in two days, and we are as well, but we played the first game, they played the second game, and uh, I just think it's a, it's a big advantage, the athleticism that we have and the depth that we have. Muffet uh, yesterday, Ariel Breaker, for example, 17 minutes, and Elliot Chanwick, 20 minutes. Uh, that's a half a game any way you measure it, so I think we're in good shape. And like you said, it's so much balance. We had four girls in double figures yesterday. What did you see yesterday that the girls can carry over into the game today? Well, I love what Michaela Mabry did. You know, we could always take her score and divide it by three, and it'll work out because she had uh, four three-pointers yesterday. We had good balance inside uh, the post players, and I thought Taya Reimer played exceptionally well, and I thought uh, Markeisha Wright had a real good game. So that's why Natalie Chan only had to play 20 minutes because the other girls right in there doing a good job. Great passes. The, the Julie Oop pass to Jewel Lloyd was phenomenal. And, uh, and so we've got some uh, depth and some role players. And Muffin McGraw was w watching the game, obviously, very closely if I need to get Ace back in there. But you're not worried about Ace saying, well, I don't have my average yet, or I've got to get my scoring. It doesn't matter on this team. And again, it's just it's magical to watch what happened. What is your key to the game today for the Irish to move on to the finals tomorrow? Well, I think the, uh, the key is like it is uh, almost with every game, and that's to have that business-like attitude. I've talked about it all season long. You know, this team came in confident. They worked very hard in the off season. And this was like our fourth season. So we, we had the European season. We had the preseason season. We had the regular season. Well, now we're in the, the uh, conference tournament postseason. Then there's another season to go. And you can't make it through all of those, playing at a high level, if you're getting up and down all the time. We've been very businesslike. We've been very mature about it. Our coaching staff is terrific can't say enough about the, the coaching staff and the confidence that Coach McGraw has in them to allow them to coach. And so when Carol Owens makes a suggestion that, you know, hey, take her to the baseline, Ace doesn't look at it as a suggestion. It's something that she wants her to do, but Ace also knows that Carol knows what she's talking about. So the confidence that comes with having that kind of a coaching staff and teammates you can trust. And we're seeing the magic of what college basketball can be when played at the, the highest level. And I don't have any question that uh, Notre Dame's been playing that way for quite a while. All right, thank you, Bob. Notre Dame and North Carolina State tip off at 5 o'clock tonight from the Greensboro Coliseum. With Bob Nagel, I'm Megan Bastido, Fighting Irish Digital Media.